In Beijing, the foreign ministers of China and Germany said that all sides must work hard towards achieving a political solution to the Libya crisis. On an official visit to China, German Foreign Minister Guido Westerwelle said the first step should be a ceasefire as battles rage in Libya. It is impossible to have a military resolution on the issue of Libya, and it is only possible to resolve it with political measures. Therefore, we must start a political process by first of all imposing ceasefire. We want to hear our appeal, and we want a ceasefire as early as possible, so that a peace process can begin. In diesem Land auch geben kann. Speaking at a joint briefing, Chinese Foreign Minister Yang Jiechi also expressed China's support for a diplomatic solution. He said China was worried about reports of continuing clashes and civilian casualties in Libya. Vestavel's three-day visit to China is aimed at improving bilateral relations. Two weeks ago, the two countries found common ground when they both abstained from the United Nations Security Council vote that authorized the establishment of a no-fly zone over Libya and demanded that Libyan government forces pull back from population centers. In 2007, Sino-German relations fell to something of a low point when the Tibetan spiritual leader, the Dalai Lama, met with the German Chancellor Angela Merkel in Berlin. Since then, however, they have improved in a big way, and with good reason. Chinese demand for high-end German manufacturing machinery has played a key role in Germany's strong recovery from the global recession. Bilateral trade last year jumped 38.5% to $182 billion. Since 2008, our relations have been steadily improving and today our trade amounts to a quarter of China's trade with the whole of the European Union. During the meeting of the foreign ministers, Yang Jiechi said the two sides were also preparing for a meeting between Merkel and Chinese Premier Wen Jiabao scheduled for July. Stephen Ribe, Press TV, Beijing.